Hello, welcome back. Today I'm going to explain how to can you make your own self-driving car from scratch. We are not going to see the whole code because that could that would be a uh, 10 video tutorials. So we are going to to see a brief introduction to this topic so you can make your own autonomous car. To introduce this this theme, I I'm going to to tell you that this topic has experienced an increasing popularity, and companies like Google and Nvidia are trying to reach this and climb hill. I have done an approach to this topic, in and you can see it in another video that that shows how, how cars could learn in only 14 generations. We, ca we are going to see the editor that I've used. I've used Unreal Engine because, because it's, I, I feel comfortable in this. And you can see with, all, uh, with not too much effort you can make uh, a lot of improvements in, in this. Y you can see the map that I used that is really simple. It's the same than in the last video. Uh, first, uh, we are going to see uh, the structure of the of the project that is divided in car, the co the car, the controller, the JSON handler and the neural the neural network and the circuit and then we are going to see the the code uh, that I've used there are about 1400 lines of code so we are not going to to see it all only the the most important part of this code like I think the most important is the neural network that the on the, the the most difficult part in the neural network is the feed forward and that's all so n let's start uh, as I said before the project is divided in five parts or classes the car, controller, the neural network and, and all first the, the car I've used this static mes uh, this mess because it's for free on the internet. You can search a uh, cartoon car for free and you can use it. Okay. I I have al also used a box component that that checks if the car has collided with the terrain or or the track. Well, the the car class. We have we have seen the viewport uh, of the car class and we can see it in the project. It has a lot of variables like the amplitude of the sticks, the velocity, the acceleration, the rotation and the max distance of each stick. It's a simple car that and I haven't said that in the in the presentation, but in order to to make uh, to to see the results of the of the training, I I have implemented a a controller, a camera, and a stick to to see the first of the car the first cars that that appear. So that that's all. It it is really simple. You can you can use it as well. I, as I said, I've I've used uh, sticks that measure the distance to to the nearest object and takes as input for the neural network and the output only only turns the car right left and makes a uh, acceleration and transfer the cars uh, acceleration you can see the variables that are property to see it in the editor and 
and these functions that the update function that uh, we have two functions the update function that makes the car movement and the hit function that uh, checks if the car has collided with with the track next the neural network as I, uh, if you all don't understand the neural, uh, neural network or how it works you, you better look for another tutorial that, that I've done that, uh, to explain Ah, in the first tutorial of neural networks in C++ I, I, I make a, a brief introduction to, to neural networks and how, how it works uh, if you don't if you don't didn't see it, I, I I'm going to explain in a few minutes. Uh, each line represents a weight, and the input is multiplied by the weight and summed to the other results. And then uh, we we apply a function a function that I've used the sigmoid function. We uh, we also include the JSON handler to create to create a file in which the weights are printed to load a file to our project and to write a new. This is the most important part of the algorithm, the brain of the machine. I've made another video explaining the basic basics of the genetic algorithm. So I won't delve into uh, a lot. Um, in order to to make the machine learn in each generation, we use a, an algorithm which is based on Darwin's theory. We have an initial population that is represented in this step, and we. And Darwin's theory tells us that the best individuals are more likely to survive and perpetuate itself and its seeds. Seed. Uh, we select the best individual and them. We select so we cross the the less fitness individuals, and then we cross over that. It means that we change uh, genes from each individual that we've selected so we we get a mixed individual like uh, like humans uh, like in human evolution and then we uh, the next step is muta mutation uh, the, in this step we change uh, some values of the of the weights or the genes genes this process is uh, will be repeated as, as many times as it needs to reach a solution that is acceptable. Uh, I I have implemented this 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 code in these lines. First, we calculate the fitness function. And then we, this is the function that calls the selection, crossover, and mutation. In in the editor, we have a lot of variables that that can be changed. That can be changed. For example, the population of each generation is is set to 100. The importance of diversity. This is very important to reach global minimums and not local minimums. And with the gene genetic algorithm, they are more likely to to show your uh, to reach a local minimum. We can activate or disactivate the crossover function. Um, we have a uh, some some numbers which represent the crossover rate, deadline, the population selection, the mutation rate, rate and mutation range. So let's continue with that. The controller, this is 
one of the most important parts, and the controller is in charge of the car's initialization and learning. We have implemented the genetic algorithm in this class, and we store, store the, the, an array of cars here. This represents the, the array of cars. We can see that this, this is the most complex class. We have approximately uh, 348 lines, that, that is a lot. And in the dot .h, you can see that, yes, that we have a lot of variables. The circuit that, that I've used uh, has a, a static mesh and an array of points that you, you can see it in, in this, in the map. Uh, the points are only used to, to measure the fitness of, of, the, of, the, of its car. For example, it's different if the car only reads uh, that point or if the car con uh, completed the, the, the whole circuit. So we use these, these points, these targets to, to measure the distance that, that it, it had traveled. If you want to make a similar project, let me know in the description of the video. I hope you like the background of this project and see you in the next video in which we will see a risk between the AI and a human. If you want to see the explanation, don't forget to leave a comment or subscribe now.